cane and that how frustrating is it not being able to play even though the circumstance is just out of your control? Um, yeah, it was to be fair, yeah. Um, I think put in a couple of good performances. Obviously we didn't get the results, but um I think when you're playing well you kinda what we like we feel we're playing well, do you know what I mean? You wanna roll into the next game and obviously after you you played them quite recently as well, beat them quite comfortably, so um it was it, it was a place where we thought we can go and, and collect the three points, so it was disappointing that the game was off, yeah. Yeah, just the season so far for you, seven goal. You've got three in your last five, though, so do, do you feel like you're, you're getting some momentum in terms of... Um, yeah, but, but if I'm honest with you, I'm still a little bit disappointed with that tally, to be fair. I feel like should be probably a little bit higher. Um, this, this game, I look back at it, I think should have scored certain chances, so... Um, yeah, the last the, the last few games, obviously, there's been a few more goals there, so happy with that. And like like you say, just a little bit of momentum kind of push on and, and get some more throughout the, the rest of the season. How aware are you of, of the pressure on, on a striker to score goals? Is that just something that, that comes with the territory? Yeah, it's just something that comes with the territory. That's just the same in every club, you know what I mean? You never can't get away from that, really, in the, in the, in the side to score goals at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what else you do, really. People remember the people who score the goals, so... Uh, yeah, well aware of that. Yeah. But your role is is about much more, isn't it, than just scoring? You've you obviously got to be armed and 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 the influence you have on the team. Yeah, of course. But I think if you ask anyone what they want me to do in the end of the day, it's put the ball in the net. So, um, like you say, you just um, strikers are there to score the goal. So, um, like I say, hopefully, I've had, a, I've had a few in the last few games, and hopefully, there's there's more to come for the end of the season. Do you enjoy being captain? Yeah, enjoy being captain, yeah, and enjoy, enjoy that responsibility. It's something that a bit of a privilege when it, it was asked and uh, put on me. So, um, yeah, I enjoy it, yeah, definitely. Yeah, quick question, when <laughs> when, when the touring cost happens, do you, do you have, particularly at Princeton Park, do you have a preference in terms of which way you, you want to shoot, or is it just about the fact yeah. that lane? You usually just want to keep, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll have the ball, we'll, we'll, we'll take it, start with them, we'll try and... Get playing in there half early doors, you know what I mean? But sometimes it's a bit like, oh, you've got the ball, all right, and then we'll spin you around, and it's a bit like, do you know what I mean? All right, but it's, I think it really matters too much, really. Yeah. Uh, manager says that although you haven't lost many, you, you've perhaps drawn too many. Yeah. So what what do you think you've got to do to turn those draws in, into wins? Um, should be a bit more, I think, I think, Okay, when looking at, looking at the crew game, especially, we lost that game, but we had the chances to win the game. Um, Sun game, I think we're in control, and then obviously go two one up, and then they get poor goal. Do you know what I mean? And then the Warsaw, obviously, that's a poor goal that you give them as well, and then we we get back into the game. So, um, I think it's stating the obvious, but getting the first goal is important. I think when you go, when you when you lose. The, the first goal then it's it's on you to obviously with the momentum and, and and take it onto the team and sometimes it's difficult to break them down once let, let alone twice so um i think it's about you know listen defensively i think we're very good everyone can see that so if we can keep it tight and uh, and not give a goal away i'm uh, i'm sure we'll be able to get one at the event and later on to come um top of the table does that sort of give you an extra bit of incentive going into the game when you've got the league leaders come um, not really. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just, listen, it's just another game. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, late on, good team. All credit them. They are where they are um, for a reason, but we're at home. We want to go and win the game. So I don't think we can be overhauled or think all oh, these are top of the league and are going back to us now. We'll set the game to them and try and go win it. I mean, you're not star off, are you? Dude? No, not at all. It, it, and, and some spice of bit of perspective is needed. I think two wins are getting the play. Of course, sure. It, I, you can look at it two ways, do you know what I mean? And I, obviously, I'm going to say this, but I look at it the way you can look at it like we're, we're 15th or we're six points off playoffs. You can look at it, do you know what I mean? Either way, it doesn't, for any of us, it doesn't look well when you look at the table and you're 15th. But then you think about it and say, well, if you put a, a run together like we know we can do, you could, you could be sitting well inside the playoffs. So, um, it's still something that we we know that we can achieve, but we just like we've said all season that little bit of consistency to 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 get us over the edge. Do you look at the table, or or do you almost have to 
set your own parameters and um, just look after yourself. Yeah, of course. You look at the table at times, but I think up within the group and within um, the build, and we have p- parameters that we want to be hitting certain markers at certain points. So if if we hit them, we know we're get, we're going to be in a in a good place. So um, of course, if you're sitting there on a Saturday night watching, forget what that show is called, the football league show. Yeah, yeah matches there, the football league show, whatever it is, or you on Sky Sports, it comes up. You're going to see it. Do you know what I mean? It's it's inevitable, but. Um, we know what we need to be doing, so it's it's not something that you're on checking every day just to see if it's changed. And have you seen much from Logan Chalmers in training? To think there might be a few decent assists. Yeah, he looks sharp. Looks looks look sharp since he's come in. Um, was quite good feet. Can go by someone. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully he hits the ground running. And can I just to ask you about you've teamed up with the, the Martin Gillier Foundation. How how important is that to you? Very important. It's something that um, especially. Um, the last, I'd probably say, what, well, when, when was it? But early May, early May, April time last year. That's something that's been really, re- really taught myself, um, my friend's family and all, all, all my kind of friend group family. By it, it's, it's been tough for a lot of us. So, um, it's something that I really. Like I say, when I when I spoke to Jess and the people over there, that when I was approached, it's it's something that means a lot. It's something that um, touches my heart, and if I can kind of help them guys in in any way and do anything for them, then do you know what I mean? I, I'll do whatever I can. So it's something that uh, yeah means a lot to me. And I think if you don't already saying with when someone like yourself is a, puts themselves with a group. It, and mm-hmm. got to, to normalise it, but at least it brings it into the open. Well, that's all it is. That's the that's, that's all it is. Do you know what I mean? Every, everyone has their own personal battles and their own struggles, and I think it's not that I'm putting myself on any kind of pedestal. But as a footballer, you may be on a little bit of a pedestal. So I think when people see people in, let's say the, the public domain, whatever you want to call it, um, put their name towards something, then it might it might give them some people a little bit of strength to say, well. He knows how I'm feeling, do you know what I mean? Or he's put his name forward, I'm going to go talk. And it's it's about breaking stigma. It's about letting people know it's okay not to be okay. And if if you've got stuff on your mind, there's help out there. And the the, the foundation and the, the charity that Jess and the people over there run, it's, it's fantastic. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something that I, I didn't think twice about jumping at.